Hello and welcome to Ellen Sancha. This is your host Rupanjata and today's show is going to be all about mathematics. In India we find a mathematician in every other house which leads to tough competition among the students. Thanks to various competitive exams and all MPRs, students can keep a check on their mathematical skills and even earn rewards for their outstanding performances. To talk about these math exams, let's welcome our competitive exam expert Ms Ankita Gautam to the show. Hello Ankita and welcome to Ellen Sancha. Thank you Rupanjata. So to start with Ankita please tell us what is IMO IMO is basically stands for International Mathematics Olympiad which is conducted by Science Olympiad Foundation New Delhi it is a kind of uh, national olympiad which checks students knowledge in mathematics subject Ankita who all are eligible for this exam uh, students from class 1st to 12th can appear for this olympiad and how can a student enroll for this test as the science olympiad foundation do not accept individual registration so students have to register from their schools only again what is the format of this olympiad uh, this exam is conducted in two levels level first is conducted in school premises where students are registering themselves and the examination center for level 2 is given by science olympiad foundation uh, there is no level 2 for class first and second moving ahead again please tell us what is the exam pattern of imo uh, there are total four sections in uh, level 1st and level 2 both section 1st is logical reasoning section 2 is mathematical reasoning section 3 is everyday mathematics and section 4 is achiever section for class 1st to 4th total 10 questions are asked in logical reasoning section 10 questions each in mathematical reasoning and everyday mathematics and total 5 questions are asked in achiever sections for class 5th to 12th 15 questions are asked in logical reasoning 20 questions in mathematical reasoning 10 questions in everyday mathematics and total 5 questions in achiever section the medium of the test is english and the exam is conducted during school hours and now let's talk about the benefits and get what are the benefits of imo cash prizes and certificates are given to the student who secure a top ranks in uh, level 1st and level 2 student who secure first rank at international level receives 50000 rupees cash a gold medal and merit certificate student who secure second rank at international level receives 25000 rupees cash silver medal and merit certificate student who secure third position at international level receives 10000 rupees cash bronze medal and a merit certificate apart from this students who secure first rank at state level receive 5000 rupees cash gold medal and merit certificate student who secure second rank at state level receive 2500 rupees cash a silver medal and merit certificate students who secure third position at state level receive 1000 rupees cash prize bronze medal and a merit certificate international and state topper award is provided to the second level winners only all right and now let's move on to another maths exam that is iom please tell us what is iom IOM is another kind of mathematical olympiad which is conducted by Silver Zone Foundation. And who all are eligible for this olympiad? Students from class 1st to 12th can appear for this olympiad. Again, what is the format of this olympiad? There are total 3 levels in IOM. All the students of class 1st to 12th are eligible to take part in level 1st. A uh, top 500 olympiad rank holders of level 1st from each class will compete for top position in level 2nd examination. Olympiad first rank holders of class 6 to 12th are eligible for level 3rd examination. Level 3rd is conducted at New Delhi, India. And uh, what is the exam pattern for IOM? A uh, total 40 questions are asked for class 1st and 2nd for 60 minute duration and for class 3rd to 12th total 50 questions are asked for 60 minute duration. The medium of the exam is English and it is conducted during school hours. Now can you please tell us what are the benefits of IOM? Uh, cash prizes and certificates are given to the top ranked students uh, in level 1st level 2nd and level 3rd top 2 students of 3rd level are sent to educational tour to nasa olympiad first rank holder in level 2 of class 12th is awarded with a cash prize of 1 lakh along with a winner trophy and olympiad first rank or of class 11th is awarded with a cash prize of 50000 rupees along with the winner's trophy First Olympiad rank holder in level 2 from class 1st to 10th is awarded with a cash prize of rupees 15000 each with a winner's trophy. Second Olympiad rank holder in level 2 in each class is awarded with a cash prize of rupees 
each with a winner's trophy. Third Olympiad rank holder in level 2 in each class is awarded with a cash prize of Rs 5000 each with a winner's trophy. All state rank 1st, 2nd and 3rd rank holders in level 2 of all classes is awarded with exciting prizes. And all the participant receives participation certificate from Silver Zone Foundation. Apart from this, there are different exciting prizes for level 1st participants also. Alright, so these are some amazing benefits. All you students out there, IOM can be your ticket to NASA. Now moving ahead Ankita, please tell us uh, what is ESET Maths? ESET stands for Assessment of Scholastic Skills through Educational Testing. ESET conducts by educational initiatives. Educational initiatives conducts uh, this assessment test in various subjects like Science, Maths, English, SST, Hindi. ESET Maths is scientifically designed skill based assessment test. Okay. And uh, Ankita, who are eligible for this test? Students from class 3rd to 10th can appear for this assessment test. Now Agita, what is the format of this exam? As this is a diagnostic test, so it is conducted only in one level. Total 40 questions are asked and it is conducted only in English medium. Fantastic. And now we have come to the last question. Agita, what are the benefits of ACID? All the students receive participation certificate. Apart from this, students who secure perfect score are declared as subject topper in India. Also, some students receive distinguished certificate, creditable certificates uh, based on their performance in asset maths exam. Fair enough, Angeta. Thanks a lot for being with us once again and talking to us about maths based exams today. Most welcome, Rupachita. And with that, today's show comes to an end. For more information on various other competitive exams and Olympiads, keep watching Alan Sanjar. Have a good day. If you find these talks useful, don't forget to share the video and subscribe to the official YouTube channel of Alan Career Institute.